Hey guys, so today I'm back to make some Christmas cards with you. Now, I have been busy making Christmas cards and I thought I'd come on here and do a tutorial with you. So I'm going to show you some of the cards I've been making. So the first one is this one here. So, and I've just stamped the sentiment there. So we've got that one there. Then I've made this one. Then I've made this one. Now this is using one of the hunky dory images from the little books. I've never really, I've never used them. Honestly, I've never used them. Um, and I didn't have a clue how to use them. And I thought I'd try and make a card. So that's the hunky dory Miri Christmas festive paper in the background. Then I matted it onto some of the hunky dory Miri card. And then I just put some buttons and some enamel dots there. So that's that one. I made another one using the hunky dory card as well so that's the festive paper and then I've just done it so it stands up like that so it's backed onto there so there's that one then that one just I had some scraps left over and normally I just bin scraps like this but I thought oh, I'll try and see if I can make a bit of a Christmas tree type of shape card even if I just you know give it to um one of my own kids or something um I thought it'd just you know be nice instead of wasting some of the paper scraps I had and on the back I put some vellum and I think that's from the Lidl's paper pad I bought last year and then there's that one and I embossed the red paper on the background there with an embossing folder I had so the cards I'm going to be showing you today to make are one of these and also these this style as well so I'm going to be making two cards with you today and it's going to be these two so the first one I'm going to show you how to make is this one now I normally make my cards five by seven but I know a lot of you buy the six by six um cards and this one the one they do sell them in Poundland but I buy mine from Hobbycraft um so I'm going to show you how to do six by six because I thought might as well because everyone buys six by six normally. So I'm using this D D W C V what a D C W V paper pad. And it was exclusively made for trim craft. I'm just gonna grab a sheet out of here. Now what you need, I've got a lot of these already made up, I'll show you. I made loads of these up. So these are what I used for the, let me get the card back. As you can see the shapes there, these are what I've used. So to get them shapes, what you need to do is you need to cut it down to two and a half. So I'm just gonna. So you need two and a half across by six. So it's already, cause it's a six by six paper pad, it's already six inches down. So two and a half, and then you're gonna wanna take show you this corner here and line it up with this corner in your cutter so hopefully I'm in shot so you take that corner line it up there and just cut so you're left with two pieces like that now you can make them smaller I have got smaller ones here but um, these are two inches instead of two and a half is two inches across by six but it's entirely up to you what you do now you get all your little pieces then take your card blank and what you want to start doing is lining them up how you like them don't put no glue down yet so you just have a bit of a play about and what you want to do is they don't entirely fit onto the paper you don't want them to fit completely on the paper you want them to hang off because you'll cut all that off later um, and you just put them round and you leave a little space or you don't have to leave a space but I like to leave a little space in between and you just put them how you want them and obviously you need um to cover so as you can see if I line that up with the top there it's hang there's no cover in there so you just pull it down a bit because this bit's going to be covered anyway you pull it down till it covers the corner oops it's because I'm doing it on a angle there we go and you just keep doing that all the way around till it's done how you like it. So, oops, they're all stuck together now. You get the gist though, don't you? 
so you just keep doing all that all the way around and then once you come to these bits you angle them again you keep angling them like that and like that so obviously I wouldn't keep it like that because I don't like the way the style how it's going but I have done one where I've glued them all down. Once, you, once you're happy with how you've set them all out and laid them all out, you glue them all down. So I've got one already that I've glued down. And that's how it looks. You've glued it down. There we go. I've glued them all down in an order that I liked them. And you just get your scissors now. If I can find my big scissors. There they are. And you're just going to want to turn the card over and cut all the excess off so I'm just gonna and you can either bin these scraps or keep them for other bits just cut round apologies if you can hear my son he don't think he's being loud but he's super loud and just follow all the way around the card there we go and then you're left with a card like that now as you can see I had a bit of um, leftover white space so what I done I took one of the triangles and I cut them really really thin I just took my scissors cut right through it really thin and put it over but obviously it still hangs off a bit so I'm just gonna cut that bit off and there you go so you have your card with your it's like meant to be like a star a sunburst effect starburst effect whatever it is these are not my ideas guys and then I die cut this on my cutting machine and you just want to stamp the sentiment see you cover all these little ends here so you just want to stamp the sentiment so I've got this stamp set that I had free in a magazine um, and I am going to stamp, there we go, I couldn't find my stamps then. So I've got Merry Christmas and I've got a little Christmas tree. So I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas first. I'm not very good at these uh, tutorials on my guys, apologies. So I'm going to take this. I like to stamp down on something sturdy. So I use the Ranger uh, Triple Ink and then you just stamp, make sure it's straight, stamp Merry Christmas, there we go and then swap around and I want the Christmas trees but obviously they can't fit on completely so I'm just Inking it up. Put a bit of paper under there. And then I'm going to stamp half the tree on. There we go. So you've got half of the tree there. Can you see? And I might do the other half as well. The other side, I mean. <laughs> Not other half. some paper underneath it and then stamp there we go so we have the two Christmas trees there I'll clean that up later and then you're just going to want to get some either foam dots or some little glue dots or even just double sided sticky tape it depends and you just want to glue it down and there you have your card so really simple card, really easy to make. The next card we are going to be making is the style like this. Now, this is a five by seven card, okay? And I'm making it a five by seven as well. So it's a plain card like this. I cut out a bit of cardstock to put on the backing piece, which was five by seven to have a decorative piece. So I'm gonna get it here. And that's the, the paper I'm using is from, whoops. I'm dropping everything. Paper Addicts and is the Happy Holidays. 
paper pads and I absolutely love this paper pad as you can see I've used a few sheets um, for various projects but I love this paper pad so I've put some backing paper on here and it's just five by seven backing paper then you're going to want to take four pieces of cardstock different cardstock double sided as well and you're going to want to have it two and a quarters across and three and a quarters down and you need four of these now I made a little template here just so I could put it in my little piece of paper and fold it over because obviously I've made a few of these cards just and it folds over the folds nicely but obviously you don't have to do that you can just get your card and just fold it up a little bit but you want to make sure that you, when you fold them you know they're the opposite sides of each other so obviously I got the four pieces here and they go like there oh, oh yeah I couldn't think then so I've got two pieces like that and then two pieces like that so that's how they go there can you see and I've cut a bit of card out to put in the middle so it's got like a little sentiment in the middle and this was a bit of scrap card from the it's the other side of the backing paper here so as you can see it's got the Christmas hollies on there and I'm going to stick that down first and then I'm going to settle these around it so I hope that makes sense guys I'm really sorry if it don't if you can't make a template if like that's three and a quarter down and two and a quarter across and then what I've just done is sliced a bit from the top if you can see um if you can't make a template like I said just fold it over it's still worth the same so I'm going to move these out of the way and I'm going to put this just about there I hope hopefully it's uh centered for me and then I'm going to put these around it so Yeah, that's fine. Move it over a little bit more. So, and then I'm going to start layering them. And obviously, you don't put no sticky tape on that bit. You just put it on the, like, as you can see, what I've done. My tutorials, I think they're just, I try and explain things to you. And I hope, I hope I've explained them well enough for you. But apologies if I don't. I found all these on Pinterest, by the way. I love Pinterest. I made a little Christmas cards folder on there with all the ideas of cards that I could make. And then I've got this one. And it's just a matter of lining them up. That was probably not going to be straight. But this is just something I wanted to quickly share with you. Well, I say quick, it's probably not quick, is it? Then we line it up next to each other. Apologies if you could hear my son again. I feel like I'm always apologising because he's so loud. I think I'm coming down with a cold as well. Right, I'm trying to be as quick as I can to take all this... I've run out of double-sided sticky tape. I used the last on these cards, so I've got no double-sided sticky tape. So that should be fun. I'm going to have to try and guess them tomorrow. So line it up there then. And put it down. I think I've left too much of a gap at the bottom, as you can see. I should have moved these down a bit more. But it's fine. I could add a bit of washi tape down there or a bit of Christmas ribbon just to even it out a bit. And then you want to line this one up as well. I have overlapped them a bit, it's fine though. And then you can either keep these like that or glue them down. And I've used some glue dots on my other card to use them. And I got these glue dots sent to me by All Things Sticky. And I still have a code available if you want to use my code to get yourself 25% off. 
and the code is Mrs. 25. So I will leave that in the description box below. These are really sticky as well. <laughs> really super sticky. These are called scrapbook dots. Oh my goodness. There we go. My fingers keep getting stuck to them. And the last one then. And then because I've used the paper, which has the sentiment Christmas wishes, I don't need to stamp any sentiments in the middle because it says Christmas wishes. So there's the two cards. Obviously I am stuck my sentiment down on that one but there's the two cards I really hope that helps and gives you some inspiration because I've really been struggling for Christmas cards and I went on Pinterest and just you know typed in Christmas cards and all these ideas come up and obviously from all these ideas I've made all these cards now so I've got a fair few still to make um you know I've got quite a big family so but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support and you need if you need any help or if I didn't explain things clearly, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and help you out. So take care, guys. Bye.